obviously, pretty monumental win on Saturday. Just kind of take us through the weekend as a whole, though, because it was a long road trip. Yeah, long road trip. Really good weekend uh, for the Lady Buffs. Um, I thought Thursday night we actually played really well. Uh, we were in an environment we've never been in before down at UT Tyler. And uh, just really came out swinging pretty early and got that lead and was able to sustain it. Uh, we shot the ball um, well. Um, Abby, you know, Abby's been really, uh, I think she's scored 24 points in 24 minutes. Um, so as much as she's getting double and triple team, she's still finding ways uh, to put that ball in the hole. And I'm just really proud of the way she's playing right now and, and, uh, and how focused she is up there on the court. But Thursday was a, uh, a great win, and then that helped lead into Saturday night as well. Uh, which we knew was going to be tough. Uh, Commerce has had an amazing season and uh, really tough. They're athletic, they're quick. Um, so we knew we had a lot of different things that were going to kind of um, pose some threats for us out on the course. And uh, we came out of the gates really strong to begin with. Started off 10-0 um, and then really just had some momentum all throughout the game. We started the second half uh, well as um, I think either 5-0, 7-0 run to start the second half. Uh, just enough. We just kept doing just enough all throughout the game. Um, it wasn't really pretty, but I thought our girls were gritty out there and, and tough, and they went on a run late, and uh, we still found a way to get that one more basket in there and get a few stops right behind. What were your messages to the team when, when Commerce was making that run? I mean, what, what was your message? What were you telling your team? Uh, just it's a one possession game. So there was maybe a minute 16 or something left. We were down four. Just focus on one possession at a time. Uh, we're doing everything we can to put the ball in the hole and then try to get a stop behind it. And, uh, and that's what it, it, when they go on a run like that, and, it, and they went on an 11-0 run, which was pretty good, um, you have to just stay focused and focus forward, even as well. Don't worry about what just happened in the past. But uh, Megan Gamble from the free throw line, Abby Spurgeon, uh, just stepped up there and made some really big. Abby made two free throws to make it a two-point game. Um, and then Abby, or Megan, finished out the game by making two free throws to kind of see we expect the big games out of like Abby and out of Megan, but when you talk about like Braylon Dollar gets the steal that seals the winner and Sienna wins, it's a big three. Is that something you'll talk about before the game? Someone else is going to have to step up. We do, and, and we expect everyone to step up. I thought Natalie Linden um, really gave us some great minutes. She hit two big threes throughout the game. One was early on, I think the first possession, um, and then later in the second half, she hit a transition three ball. Braylon hit a three. Um, and, and Sienna, she's shooting those little mid range jumpers really well right now. So. Just saw the maturity, the growing, um, and, and that was a tough place to play. They had a great crowd. The band is right next to you, um, right in your ear every time out. So um, it, it took everybody, and uh, down to that final possession, uh, you know, we finally secured that ball and then we created a free throw game after that. Um, being an unbeaten team at their place at this stage of the season, what kind of a statement do you think that makes for everybody? Uh, we just happen to be maybe the better team that night. I don't really know if it sends any kind of message outside of just how important um, every game is at this point. I know the NCAA committee is looking at every game um, really tight right now. And uh, and as we're trying to just get ourselves prepared for conference play, it, it felt like an NCAA, you know, or a conference tournament type uh, game. And we knew it was going to be that way. Again, the game could have gone either way. Uh, it came down to the very wire and uh, in commerce is having an extremely good season. Um, I, I know you don't want to look that far ahead, but the LSC tournament feels wide open on the women's side. Do you kind of feel that same way? I, I hope not. Yeah, <laughs> um, it, yeah it's we'll get that get there when we get there here in a couple or about two weeks, I guess now. Um, it's just it doesn't matter what happens in the LSC tournament if you don't take care of business here these next two games, and we have two big home games in front of us. A Midwestern State who's tied for tenth. And a uh, Cameron who's playing really well. So Cameron, the last four games, are averaging about 88 points um, these last four games. So they're playing uh, with a lot of firepower right now. Can you just go a little bit more into the depth with them? Because I mean, these two teams, like their their seeding is going to be really dependent on how they do this weekend. Yeah, Midwestern State is a team. I, I think you know I start with their coach because we have a lot of respect for Coach Noel Johnson, who is battling cancer right now, uh, who's on the sidelines, but they're just battling for more. They're probably a, a t team that you would just at the normal season because of everything that they've been through. And Coach Ray has stepped up in that position. He's doing a great job for them. Uh, but they're a team, uh, we lost to them down at their place last year. Just physical, was shoving us around, and, and we looked like we weren't tough enough. So uh, that's a big thing this time of the year. you got to be tough. Uh, it might be a little bit gritty. And as we say, it might not be pretty, but you got to be tough out there and take some of those punches. So 
Uh, we'll see them first and then Cameron, who likes a very free-flowing game. Uh, they want to get up, up and down. They want to score you. They want to shoot the three and beat you from that three-point line. I think they had 13 or 14 threes the other night. Um, so just two different teams, one more physical. The other one just wants to get up and down. Uh, we'll have to adapt and adjust to both. Uh, defensively, I, I think we're playing solid defense right now. It's something that we've just been able to uh, hold a hat on this year of just uh, understanding that how important that defensive game plan is because we're not scoring tons of points given we're scoring about 66 points a game so we have to really stay locked in defensively. How much of a matter is it in the last two home games of the season is pride when you play, especially for the seniors, you've got to think defending your home court is nice. That's got to be, you've got to be, think this is the last time you're playing every time they play you both's uniform, it's got to be pretty important. Sure, there's no place like home, right? Um, and then having Buff Nation as your backing and we've had great crowds this season and they always get better as the season goes on and the, and the students get more involved as well. So, And we hope to have the same for this weekend. Um, and senior night being on Saturday, that's special. These seniors have given us everything. And uh, and we're going to honor Natalie Linden and Tiana Parker, Megan Gamble here at, as our three seniors. Is there anything special you guys do on senior night that is specific to WT? Um, just battling for our seniors, really. Uh, we'll recognize them, talk about them a little bit. Um, obviously, when you get to that, this point in your career and you're a senior, it, it just means more. Uh, there's no way to explain it when you get to that point and you see your games are limited. Uh, but the impact our three seniors have had on this program, um, you know, they, they've left their mark here. Uh, I think about a Megan Gamble, who was two years ago conference tournament player of the year, helped us win conference tournament championships the last couple of years. Uh, we couldn't have done it without anyone. Um, and Tiana Parker, Parker, who's actually battled some injuries, um, and you know, at one point, at least this year, she led the league in block shots and uh, would have easily been up for a defensive player of the year in our league. Um, and I hope it's still considered in that area as well because of just what she can do defensively. So Natalie has been phenomenal for us as well and just kind of the rock and the glue behind of everything that we've had going on. So um, when you got special seniors and good leaders in that area, um, they're the ones that can help you win games and win teams.